Hello and welcome to GCS Today here on Channel 21, the program that brings you news and information from Gaston County Schools. I'm Todd Hagens. On today's edition, we talk with Cody Koobs from South Point High School, who is the current Gaston County Teacher of the Year. Plus, we spend time with Stefania Meeks from Webb Street School, who is our Gaston County Teacher Assistant of the Year. Joining me on GCS today is Cody Koobs. He is a U.S. History teacher at South Point High School and the current Gaston County Teacher of the Year. Congratulations on that honor. Thank you. Thank you so much. What, what does it mean to you to be the Gaston County Teacher of the Year? Um, it's quite an honor. Uh, you know, when I was named the Teacher of the Year at South Point, that was a tremendous honor. We have a whole staff full of wonderful teachers that are all very deserving of that recognition. So uh, I was through the roof with that. And then to be named the County Teacher of the Year um, is just that much more so. Uh, when you think about how many teachers there are in this county and how, how great they all are, there's so many people that could be in my shoes. So it's a, it's a true, true honor for me. L let's go inside your classroom. Mm -hmm. What is it like to be inside your, your U.S. History classroom? Uh, well, you'll notice when you come in, there's a lot of energy. I try to bring a lot of energy, a lot of passion. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a loud guy. I use my hands. I move around a lot. Uh, and part of that's just, just my character, but also I try to bring history alive to my students. Um, you know, there's a lot of really fun stories that you can engage in and, and try to recreate uh, to inspire my students. Well, what do they think about that? Because you think about history, you think, oh, history. Mm -hmm. How how do you get that spark among students to mm -hmm. win? to think about? Well, I, I try to bring in interesting facts. I try to bring in fun little side stories. Uh, something, you know, that might grab someone's attention may not grab somebody else's. So I try to, I try to shoot a wide, wide array there. Um, and like I said, just bring the energy, bring the passion. And I think a lot of times, you know, students will feed off of that. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think at first students are kind of apprehensive. They're, you know, I'm, I'm loud, I'm in your face, I'm jumping around a lot. Um, but as they get more and more comfortable with that, they really start to feed off of that. Do you have a lesson um, that you teach that's your favorite? Ooh. I have a lot of them. Um, I'm, I'm a really big fan of World War II, uh, Vietnam. I, I really get fired up about Vietnam. Um, but there's, there's just so many lessons that I enjoy and, and stories that I enjoy telling. And uh, I, I really couldn't pick one, I don't think. Is there a lesson the students seem to um, enjoy more than others? I think anytime I can get my students to, to be an active participant in class, uh, they tend to enjoy that more. So uh, by nature, I'm a storyteller, um, but I try to try to engage my students as best I can on a daily basis um, because when they're when they're engaged, they, they feel a part of the, the history. They feel a part of the lesson. So um, I, hopefully every day, hopefully every day they're excited. <laughs> We hear uh, teachers say that becoming a teacher and going into education is a calling, it's mm -hmm. a passion, it's mm -hmm. something that, that you feel destined to do. Mm -hmm. Is that the case with you? What inspired you or who inspired you to become a teacher? Uh, that's definitely true with me. Uh, I have a number of, of teachers that directly impacted me. Uh, my mother was in education. She was a, a classroom teacher for 25 years and then an administrator for another 10 years. Uh, so I grew up in the school systems, um, but I had a few teachers in high school that really inspired me, and and I just they they made a difference in my life, and I knew they cared about me as a student, but they cared about me as a person, uh, and I wanted to do better in their classrooms, and you know, in in reflecting on what I wanted to do for the rest of my life, I wanted to have that same type of impact on on other students' lives. So you are in your. 13th year mm -hmm. as a teacher. You've been at South Point nine years and then you were at Belmont Middle School for four years. So what, where do you get the drive to continue teaching? Because mm -hmm. we've heard people say teaching can be a profession where you get burned out. Mm -hmm. What what keeps you going? Um, I, I, the students keep me going. I mean the students, uh, you know, it might be my 13th year but it's their first year for, for being in my classroom. So the students definitely keep me going. Um, I'm, I'm a lifelong learner. I'm always looking up new stories, trying to find out information that I didn't know. Uh, oftentimes I go down rabbit holes on, on one subject and, and sometimes I come up with nothing, but um, you know, that's kind of what keeps me going. And you know, every day is a, is a good day. Every day is a different day. Uh, that's what makes teaching different than a lot of other professions is I, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow in my classroom. And it, it's gonna change. It's not gonna be the same from first period to second period, second period to third period. It, it's, it's gonna be different because the students are different. Now, you, um, in addition to being a teacher, you're a uh, coach and mm -hmm. um, I would say a popular basketball, boys basketball coach and mm -hmm. then the cross country coach. Mm -hmm. 
when you think about teaching and you think about coaching, how are they alike? Well, they're, they're alike because you're, you're teaching. Whether you're coaching or teaching, you're teaching. Uh, when, I'm, when I'm coaching cross country or basketball, I'm teaching my students. Uh, and there's a lot of life lessons that can be learned through sports. I, I believe in that. Uh, or just extracurriculars in, in general. You can learn a lot of life lessons. So I think there's a lot of parallels. There's a lot of similarities there. Um, you know, there's, there's differences uh, as well. You know, the, the coaching hat is different than the teaching hat. But, um, but at the end of the day, we're dealing with, we're dealing with students, student athletes, and um, a, a, lot of the, a lot of the needs are, are the same, uh, whether you're coaching or teaching, and um, that's how I approach it. I, approach my I think it says a lot, too, that, that teaching and helping students molding students, it extends beyond the four walls of the classroom. Mm -hmm. It really is a total school experience, especially mm -hmm. for students that are involved in athletics and mm -hmm. other activities. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think that it's important for, for people like you to be mindful mm -hmm. of teaching and learning. It goes on beyond mm -hmm. just that classroom. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I hear that a lot with my coaching. You know, I'm able to see my students outside of that setting uh, because we know students have jobs and they've got extracurriculars, they've got band, they've got chorus, they've got drama club, they've got so many things that are that are demanding of their time uh, and as teachers we need to be aware of that you know we need to we need to, to teach what we need to teach but we also need to be aware that these young students have other obligations outside of our classrooms. Okay does teaching make you a better coach mm. or does coaching make you a better teacher? It's a really tough question. It probably depends on the day. Uh, I think I, I'm a teacher first and foremost. So I believe that, that my teaching is making me a better coach. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm passionate about coaching cross country and, and basketball, but if they were to go away tomorrow, I would continue to teach. Uh, that, is, that is my first love, that's my first passion. Um, so I, I think that, that my teaching probably makes me a better coach. Uh, in that I understand where my athletes are coming from. I understand the, the demands on them more. Um, but it, it probably depends on the day. <laughs> okay, if we brought in a group of your students and asked them about you, what, what do you think they would say? Or what would you hope that they would say? <laughs> Uh, I would hope that they would they would talk about my energy. They would talk about my passion for teaching, um, my heart for them as an individual. Uh, hopefully, my students all know that that I care about them, like genuinely care about them and their success, not just in my classroom but beyond my classroom and their other subjects and in life. Uh, I mean, that's ultimately what we're preparing these kids for. So, uh, hopefully, they would they would say that I'm someone they can trust, someone that they know they can bring their problems to, and. Um, that hopefully I've prepared them for, for whatever is beyond high school. You spend a lot of time teaching students and coaching students, mm -hmm. but what have the students over the years taught you? Ooh, it's taught me a lot. Uh, patience, <laughs> patience probably first and foremost. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of times where I've had to stop and reflect. I'll think, why is a kid doing that in my classroom? Uh, and when I stop and I reflect on it, you know, a lot of times you dig into their personal situation, you start to understand, you know, students, every student comes into your classroom with, with some different, back, I don't want to call it baggage, but some different background. Um, so they've definitely taught me patience. They've, they've taught me perspective. Um, you know, my perspective is dramatically different than a 17 year old's perspective. And, uh, and they, they teach me a lot of things. I mean, they teach me about technology. Uh, I try to bring technology into my classroom, but you know, 17-year-olds are experts. You know, they they're on the cutting edge of it. So, uh, there's a lot of lessons to learn from from our students. What, as as the Gaston County Teacher of the Year, what advice do you have to for your coworkers and for mm. your fellow teachers? I don't know if I'm one to give out advice. Um, I just remember why you got into teaching in the first place. You know, it, like any profession, you're going to have good days and you're going to have not so good days. But, you know, keep focused on why you're there in the first place. You're there to be a positive impact, to be a positive role model in these kids' lives. And, you know, I think a lot of times we allow outside factors to, to affect who we are or, or how we act. And uh, that can be hard. That can be hard because there's a lot of negativity. There's a lot of negativity in the world today. But uh, just stay true to who you are and why you're there in the first place. Okay, we've said this before. Um, the last teacher of the year that came from South Point High mm -hmm. School that became the Gaston County Teacher of the Year went on to become the regional, 
the State Teacher mm -hmm. of the Year and then won the Teaching Excellence Award from the NEA Foundation, a national award. I'm mm -hmm. talking about Bobby Kafnar. Mm -hmm. um, do do people give you a hard time about that and say, hey, Coach Coobs, you got to step it up? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if they say you have to step it up. I think that I, I've heard it a number of times, you know, hey, last time we had the Teacher of the Year, but I think it's all in fun. Um, you know, obviously, Mr. Kavanaugh is a phenomenal teacher. Um, he's very well spoken, and, and he did a, a great job of representing South Point and representing Gaston County Schools and representing our region and representing our state, um, as all of his accolades will attest to. Um, I just try to be me. I try to stay true to who I am and, and you know, just try to be the same guy I am, I guess. Well, you will represent us in the regional competition, mm -hmm. and we are confident that you've got what it takes to go all the way to. <laughs> um, so we look forward to watching that journey this Thank year you. as you compete at the different levels for us. Cody Koobs, U.S. History teacher at South Point High School in the current Gaston County Teacher of the Year. Congratulations on that honor, and we appreciate you being with us here today on GCS Today. Thank you. You are watching GCS Today here on Channel 21. Stay with us. We will be right back. You can achieve a lot using your imagination. <laughs> I mean, I don't like to brag, but... Wait, who's that? And why is she all over these achievement awards? But with STEM, the sky's the limit. Shaboom! Use STEM to envision. Okay, I'm seeing it. Yeah. Invent. Got any ideas? I've got a few, actually. And create a better world. Told you she's super smart. If she can STEM, so can you. Find out more at She Can STEM. Joining me on GCS today is Stefania Meeks. She is a teacher assistant at Web Street School. And first and foremost, congratulations on being chosen as our Gaston County Teacher Assistant of the Year. Thank you. A Thank big you. honor for you. And yes. Very, very well deserving of, mm -hmm. of that honor. So tell us, what was it like to hear your name called as the winner? Uh -huh. It was amazing, Todd. Uh, it was uh, so overwhelming. I was like, who, me? Little old me? And I was, I was like, oh, my peers, my co-workers. And I was like, thank you, Jesus. Recognition is something, you know, very rewarding. And it really lifts you up. So I was so happy that my peers and my co-workers and friends and stuff at Web Street School had chose me. It, it, it was an exciting um, afternoon. Yes. And what I remember from that moment is how <laughs> everyone else in the room seemed so happy that you had been chosen as the winner. Yes. I think that says a lot. Yes. A lot of people in that room uh, was people that I worked with for years that I, I grew up, I, their kids grew up, and they, they also, some of the teachers in the press, helped raise my kids. So that was a wonderful uh, experience. Now, as a teacher assistant, why is your job important? What do you do in your job um, to assist a teacher? Um, well, that part goes all the way back to my upbringing. Uh, my mom always said school is important and that the teacher that's in that classroom has something to give you. She went to school all these years, she has something to give you and you need to be able to receive it. And so I believe by me being a teacher assistant in a room, by falling in up under my teacher, knowing what it is that she wants and try to help her to accomplish that goal, the children will receive what that teacher has to give them and they'll be able to have a brighter and better future. And you really provide a lot of support mm -hmm. for the teacher because yes. a, a, the teacher can't do it all alone no. sometimes. No, and so, no. so I imagine that the teacher relies on the teacher assistant mm -hmm. to, yeah, to um, do a lot and to make the classroom, uh, uh, um, manage the classroom, make the classroom operate mm -hmm. so the teacher can focus on teaching. Yes, yeah, I, yeah I, I help out a lot. I help pull her material that she needs. I get set up for the next day, um, make sure that the goals that the kids need to be working on, that for her to get the data on, make sure that they're on those goals. and helps so that it makes it a little bit easier that she can do what it is that she needs to do to keep the cows function. So um, I feel that, and I love my teacher, she makes me feel like um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm on a team. Not necessarily that I'm just like there just to be her backhander, but like I'm really assisting her with making sure I'm getting done what it is that she needs to have done. And the kids are quite learning, and I love that a lot. I, th I think you say that very well. <laughs> it, it is good to take a team 
a teamwork approach to mm -hmm. it. And mm -hmm. I think that having that approach really, above all else, it benefits the children. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so who influenced you or what influenced you to, to pursue a career in education? Oh, oh my goodness, uh, several people over the years. Well, first off, like I say, my mom. Um, and then as I got on more so in, into education, um, I run across some great teachers, uh, starting with my fifth grade teacher, Miss Eccles, one of the ones that I remember so well, Mr. Payne, my math teacher. Um, and then as I come on, and then when I first entered into the Gaston County school system, uh, Miss Shrum, um, I've run it and worked with a lot of amazing people. And when I see what they had to offer, um, I was like, oh my goodness, I'm such a part of something. I was taking something over the years from all of them and to where I'm getting to now where I'm actually like on, like I say, on a team where I can actually put those things to use. And I love it. Um, my kids, uh, they receive so much from us through, because of the people, the teachers and stuff that I have worked with. They have instilled a lot of good values and things and stuff like that in me. And so you saw um, education as a possible career path at a young age. Yes, sir. That's yes. great. That, that's usually how it begins. Mm -hmm. you, you find that passion uh, at a very young age. And then when you reach the point where you actually can be in the classroom, it really is mm -hmm. um, a feeling of accomplishment and reward. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, tell us about your job and Tell us what you love the most about your job and what you love the most about your school. Oh, okay. Oh, my goodness. It's a lot of stuff. Um, the biggest part of it is the population that we serve. Um, in my lifetime, we've, uh, in, my, in my family, we've had children with disabilities and stuff, but we never said that disability was something that was to hinder you from learning. And so when I was able to come to Webb Street School, I was like, oh my goodness, I get a chance to actually work and build upon that. And I can show and uh, show the kids and stuff that I work with our service that you can go beyond more than your wheelchair. You can be gone more than your, your crutches or whatever, or whatever speech uh, problem you may have. And you know, you can, be, you can be better than what you was yesterday. And at Webb Street School, that's what we do. Um, we build the kids up, we give them ready for a brighter and better future no matter what capacity that they're at. So um, when they come in and by the time they leave us, they might not have taken 5,000 steps, but if they took five and was better than what they was when they came in the door, then uh, what they will, uh, they will be when they're going out, per se, that, um, that's a great accomplishment. Because uh, I have watched some kids uh, come in that couldn't walk at all and now they're walking across the stage to graduation and that's a great accomplishment and then they're able to talk and speak or they verbalize back to us one way or the other you know i can do this i'm here count me in so um i, yeah. I bet that is um i bet that makes you feel good it does that you you see children grow and learn mm -hmm. despite what obstacles or challenges yes. um, they face mm -hmm. uh, to see that that sense of achievement yes. uh, uh, mm -hmm. for students. Yes. Um, you've been at Webb Street School for 20 years? Yes, sir. I understand. Yes. Uh -huh. what, what keeps you going? S sometimes mm -hmm. I, I think today people, uh, they like to have a change with their job because mm -hmm. they get bored with things. Mm -hmm. And you, you've been there a long time. Yes. What, what keeps you at <laughs> Webb Street School? Oh, goodness. Um, the people, most important, the children, uh, because every day is a new day. And if you don't believe that every day is a new day, then you need to look in the eyes of the children. Then I look in the eyes of my co-workers, and then I look in the eyes of my administration. And it's a great feeling because when I'm down, they pick me up. And so, you know, it's a great thing. It's great to be a part of a team that when you're down, they pick you up, they make you smile, they make you laugh, they make you cry. And it, it's just all those things rolling to us. So it's exciting every day, every day. I, I know at Webb Street and, and, and at, at, at other schools as well, mm -hmm. you have a sense of community and you have a sense of yes. family. And yes. I know that you feel like Webb Street is, 
is part of your family. Yes, yes, uh, yes. That, uh, my extended Wichita family. And that's what, what I do when I say my prayers away every night. I pray for my family. You know, it's like, well, your brother and sister. No, I pray for my Web Street family. That's great. Mm -hmm. That's great. Mm -hmm. Now, if we had your principal here or, or some of your co-workers, maybe some of your students here, mm -hmm. what do you think they would say about you? <laughs> oh, uh, I'm a behind the scene person. So, but um, I'm caring, I'm kind. Um, I try my best to live by the characters that we try to instill in our kids. Um, I'm dependable. I, I try to uh, go beyond what it is that's needed to make sure that everything is done. And again, like I said, I'm the behind person. This is like caught me out of guard when they put me in front of the camera because I, I do so much better when I'm behind. So, uh, but um, I think I'm a great sense of, uh, a great sense of character. And I try to lead that life so that our kids would see what characterism is. So, you know, when they come up and they can say, well, I want to be like them. I want to be so, like, I want something from her. I, uh, that she has that, you know, instill that in me. So I think the, I, I'm, well, every then they had to say a whole lot, they thought a whole lot of me for me to be in this position where I am now. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, Karen, I, I love and I love wholeheartedly. Um, I'm, I'm a truly a laugher. I love to joke. <laughs> I love to make you, uh, make you uh, cry, make you laugh. Uh, and as you say, when they pick me up, I like to pick you up. So I'm there for you, whether it's good or bad. And we stick together, and I love that. Well, I, I think that even though you say you're behind the scenes, <laughs> I think you deserve your moment in the spotlight for your excellent work and your dedication and, and your commitment to Web Street School, your family at Web Street School. Mm -hmm. And uh, Stefania Meeks, she is our Gaston County Teacher Assistant of the Year. Yeah. Congratulations on that honor. Thank it, you. It is well deserved. Thank you. And we appreciate you being with us here today yes. on GCS Today. Thank you. Thank you for watching GCS Today here on Channel 21. Before we go, we would like to give a shout out to Costner Elementary and the new Leadership Academy at the school. Recently, the students enjoyed a Leader in Me pep rally to introduce the seven habits of becoming an effective leader. And we want to encourage you to download the Gaston County Schools mobile app. It's free in the Apple and Google online stores, and it is your one-stop source for news and information about our schools. And be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and watch us on YouTube and right here on Channel 21. I'm Todd Hagens for GCS Today. We look forward to seeing you next time.